So let's take a look at a general approach to solving quadratic equations known as the quadratic formula. And just a quick recap, in general, the slowest and least efficient way of solving equations is to try to factor them. Uh, it's usually a waste of time because outside of some very, 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 very limited and very, very carefully constructed examples designed to show how you can solve an equation by factoring, most equations will not be factorable. Uh, so it's usually a waste of time trying to factor because it can't be done. On the other hand, completing the square is both faster and more efficient than factoring and will always work. Now, what we can do is we can combine all of the steps that we use to complete the square and we will create what's known as the quadratic formula. Now, we'll go over the derivation in class, but, is, but for now, the quadratic formula is going to be the following. If I have any quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then the solutions are going to be found by the following, x equals negative b, that's our coefficient of x, plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. There are extremely few things that you should memorize in mathematics. The quadratic formula is one of them. Uh, one of the things that you should memorize, that you should actually commit to memory as a formula, is the quadratic formula. And this is because it's so useful. It shows up in so many contexts that while it's not really necessary, you can solve quadratics by completing the square. Um, it's easy enough to memorize the quadratic formula and useful enough that it's worth doing. So, memorize it. Got it? Okay, let's go on. Now, realistically, you'll use it a bunch of times, and then eventually you'll memorize it. So let's take a look. Here's our quadratic equation. 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 set equal to 0. Now, if we do want to check out a few things, we can only use the quadratic formula if we have a quadratic polynomial, a second-degree polynomial equation where we have it's set equal to 0. So let's see. 3x squared plus 4x. This is a second-degree polynomial equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation, and so we can solve it using the quadratic formula. And so, again, paper is cheap. We'll write down the quadratic formula. It helps to write it down a few times. It helps to memorize it. And I'll substitute in the values. So a is the coefficient of x squared. b is the coefficient of x. And c is our constant coefficient. So a is 3 b is 4, c is negative 1. And so I'll substitute in those values into my quadratic formula. So x equals negative b, b is 4, plus or minus square root b squared, b is 4, minus 4, a is 3, c is negative 1. The whole thing over 2 times a, that's my coefficient of x squared. So there's my quadratic formula, and at this point I can do some simple arithmetic. So that's negative 4 doesn't change, plus or minus 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 3 times negative 1, that's negative 12 minus a negative 12, that's plus 12. 2 times 3 is 6, and my quadratic formula, negative 4 plus or minus square root is kind of like a parentheses symbol, 16 plus 12 has to be done first square root of 28. And it's helpful to remember that that plus or minus corresponds to two different solutions. So I really have x negative 4 plus 28 root, or negative 4 minus square root of 28, all over 6. Well, how about another example? x squared minus 2x equals 6. And in order to apply the quadratic formula, I do need to get this into the form quadratic equal to 0. So I need to subtract that 6 from both sides. So I have x squared minus 2x. I'll subtract 6 from both sides. On the right-hand side, I'll have 0. And check it out. Polynomial degree 2 equal to 0. I can use the quadratic formula where I have a equals 1, coefficient of x, b equals the coefficient of x, negative 2, c equal to our constant term is going to be negative 6. 
So I'll substitute these into my quadratic formula. I'll write it down and fill in the gaps. So b is negative 2, b negative 2, a coefficient of x squared, that's going to be 1, c constant term, negative 6, a coefficient of x squared is 1. And I have my quadratic formula, and I can fill in the values here. Negative, negative 2, that's 2. Negative 2 squared, that's 4. 4 times negative 6, that's negative 24. I'm subtracting it. 2 times 1 is 2. So 4 minus a negative 4, that's 28. 2 stays the same, plus or minus squared to 28. And again, it's helpful to remember that plus or minus corresponds to two solutions. So I have 2 plus square root of 28 over 2, and 2 minus square root of 28 over 2.